Explorer Thief's car is gone. Please, somebody call his therapist. Tool acquisition syndrome or TAS is something that I have and I've had it for a while. I take it one day at a time and just go about my daily business and stay focused on my hobbies and interests and I find that usually works. But every once in a while in a moment of weakness it seems, it'll hit. I'll get a text message from Harbor Freight and I'll just have to look. The Labor Day sale is always good and as I start thumbing through all the sale items, I find something and FOMO sets in and I just lose it. I lose control. After all, I am just here for a flag, right? I can't walk past these without looking at them. I bought an air tool once and I just can't stop thinking about them. I'd have them all if I could, I'm sure. But I start to use my phone like a divining rod to keep my mind on what I'm here for. Which is to look for an American flag. So I post the picture at the top and I hold it in front of me to keep me from getting distracted. I know my mission. But what is this thing? Oh, sandblaster. A few different sizes. It's like Goldilocks and the three bears here, but for a tool addict, it's always the papa bear. You wouldn't be caught dead with the baby bear. And I have no idea what this thing is, but it sure as heck looks handy. Forget the three bears, how about the whole extended family? I'm sick. Do the same thing with WD-40? Bastards. I once recommended some crimpers on a video, and now they sell them here. Along with all these different sizes of generators that makes really no excuse for anybody not getting at least one. But here I am. Keep to the task, Steve. Get the flag. You know right, whoop, made a left turn. Why? You know where the flags are. You're letting your addictions control you. Why are you looking at these clamps? You have tons of clamps. And this thing you have no use for, but it's orange. And orange is a pretty cool color. You have lots of gloves here. I have many of them. But now they have them in day glow, orange, and green. And why don't I have those as well? I'm getting to the point to where I can admire things without having to own them. And I guess that's a good step in the right direction. But when I look at these icon tools, sometimes my Craftsman USA just doesn't seem as shiny. And I start longing for these. I look at them enough and I worry that someday I'll walk out of here with them. But today I am strong. But this is a nice welding helmet. And I'm looking for a cycle carrier for a new surprise I have coming up. And if I find it, I'll have to come back and pick it up in the truck. And here I do find it. And I did come back and that's the reason for the wardrobe changes in this video two trips in one day. Pull yourself away, Steve. Focus. Get what you're here for. That's it. You can do this. Let's grab it off the peg. Just get one. Let's walk out of here with one thing. And you'll have accomplished your mission. But you're thinking that flag only has two grommets. How can any American flag fly in the winds that we have out here in Vegas with two grommets. Could probably use an extra one. So you make your way out to the checkout counter. The lady calls you by your name. She knows you. And besides, 
you have grommets at home, you can use those. My name is Explorer Steve, and I'm a recovering tool addict. Tell your story in the comment section. Mission accomplished. The first thing I started on when I got home was the cycle carrier. It's the new improved version with a welded steel bottom plate. The previous version had an aluminum bottom plate that would flex and crack. They did a very good job on packing the item, you know, with the straps and here's the box of goodies to keep them all together. Had shrink wrap and a few zip ties that I had to cut and was out. This new bracket, like I said, has that welded on metal plate and it seems very sturdy. Looking at the thickness of the metal of the main bar, seems to be more than adequate pretty much industry standard it doesn't appear to be powder coated it looks like some just kind of durable enamel coating i take this bracket and i put it on upside down like this to affix it with six bolts a 14 millimeter wrench and a 15 millimeter socket was all i needed to assemble i was happy with the nylon lock nuts they supplied there's the completed item right there it's ready to put into the receiver and so I just kind of line it up here. It doesn't weigh very much with the aluminum construction. So I'm happy with that. And I just kind of seat it properly. And then we'll have a look to see what it looks like. And there is the finished product. I like it. Looks good. I think it's a little wide. I don't know if I'll cut it down or not. But I think it'll do the way it is. That after putting in the pin, I have a locking one just so you guys don't, you know, make criticisms. But I have one with a key. You know, I put on these other two tie-down brackets. And it has a nylon lock nut as well. Then one thing that you'll always notice is that these things have move, right? They have a little bit of slop in the connection. So I have one of these hitch stabilizers. I just attach it, you know, with the nuts facing downward and tighten it up and that makes it real sturdy. You can see here if I try to shake it that it doesn't have a lot of back and forth play. Uh, you know, same thing with my foot, you know, so it's just enough normal flex of the metal itself. I'm just showing it does come with a ramp for it and there's also a way to affix it to the hitch itself and it's really easy with this little lever right here and a thumb screw and just tightening down this clamp. But I'm not going to use this feature and you'll find out next week probably. These American flags are pretty good quality. They have embroidered stars and the stripes on these are sewn on. It's not a silk screen or a screen printed item. Setting a grommet is easy. You just have a few tools like this base, this hole punch, and you have the grommet in which you sandwich whatever you're going to grommet between top and bottom use a setting tool smack it with a nice hammer i use a two pound sledge simple process the only thing i don't like about the flag is it does only have two grommets one at the top and one at the bottom of the mounting side of it and so what i usually like to do is i like to put another grommet right in between those here i am using the hole puncher I place the longer grommet through the hole, and then cover that with the other grommet, place it on the staking tool, and give it a few taps of the mallet. Then we're going to have a completed grommet, and there it is. Now let's go hang it up for Labor Day. I just use zip ties, one of the top, the middle, and the bottom, and just put it inside its holder, and I think we're all set to go for all the holidays ahead. Take care, people. See you next week. So, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and ring the bell so you get future notifications. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.